Hey guys, it's Joe from Eastwood. In this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at the Eastwood TIG 200 AC-DC welder. Now, if you're fabricating exhaust intake tubes, roll cages, or even just the regular old automotive sheet metal patch panel, you know that TIG welds are going to be where it's at. TIG welds work with a variety of different metals and they give a clean, showroom, high quality weld that doesn't cause sparks or spatter like other welding processes. In the hands of a master, TIG welds look simply beautiful too on any build. Of course, this TIG is going to use DC to weld up to quarter inch thick steel and stainless. It also has a simple switch that allows you to go to AC for welding aluminum. And there's also a stick weld function for use in less than ideal TIG conditions. Think dirty, heavy machinery or outdoor conditions. This welder can operate at either 240 or 120 volts with the supplied adapter. For TIG welding on a 120 volt outlet, this unit will output up to 145 amps. And on the 240 outlet, this will output the full 200 amps. Now, the fact that this can go into either of the outlets is a great feature for the beginner. If you're just starting out and don't have a 240 in the garage yet, you don't need it. The TIG 200 initiates its arc with a touchless high frequency ignition. So as soon as you push the pedal or pull the trigger on the torch, you'll be TIG welding. This is the easiest way to start a TIG arc. It doesn't leave any tungsten contamination, unlike some of the competing scratch start machines with which you have to touch the workpiece with your tungsten to initiate the arc. This unit is also very tough, really very well built. The duty cycle is going to be 60% at 190 amps. We have confidence in this unit and it even comes with a full three year warranty through Eastwood. The dimensions of this machine are going to be 18 inches long by 8.4 inches wide and 20 inches tall. It's going to come in at a weight of 39 pounds, which makes it lighter than most of the competing options. So it's easy to carry this around the worksite if you have to. This machine has a bunch of adjustments that are easily accessible right here on the front. First, you have your power control anywhere from 10 to 200 amps. This machine has power controls to either the trigger on the torch or the foot pedal. When you're using the torch trigger, this knob on the front will adjust your power. You also have pre-flow adjustments up here from 1 tenth to 1 second and post flow from 2 seconds all the way up to 8. There's also a clearance effect knob for aluminum welding. That's going to range from 50% electrode negative to 50% electrode positive. Off to the side, you do have some rocker switches for switching between AC, DC, and stick functionality. And again, there's a rocker switch here to allow you to go from panel control and foot pedal control to control your power. Now, the thing to me that makes the TIG 200 AC-DC really stand out from its competition is all the extras that you get when you purchase this. On other machines, you have to pay extra for this stuff, but it just comes in the box with the TIG 200 AC-DC. So first, let's talk about the torch that you see right in front of me here. This TIG welder comes with a 17 series TIG torch. Not only do some of the cheaper machines not include a torch, this one does of course, but it's not just any torch. This is gonna be a flex head torch, which as you guys could probably guess, the head of the torch is going to be able to bend a little bit, which allows you to get as comfortable as possible when welding, therefore giving you the best weld puddle control possible. On top of that, this torch also comes with a gas lens kit installed. So that's another optional extra that just comes with the TIG 200 AC-DC. A gas lens kit will clean up some shielding gas turbulence, which gives you some extra wiggle room when it comes to gas control. This helps eliminate porosity. The gas lens kit also helps with conserving gas as well. Like I said, this is still a 17 series torch, so it accepts industry standard cups, collets, and collet bodies. So you're not going to have to order specialty equipment if you don't want to. You can order your replacements right here at Eastwood or wherever you buy your welding supplies locally. You also get a comfortable rocker style foot pedal with a very generous 16 foot cable. Great setup for easily controlling your amperage when this machine is set to the foot pedal control. The grounding cable that comes with this is a generous 10 foot long cable, which should be more than enough to reach whatever it is you're trying to ground. The TIG torch cable is 12 foot, which again, Plenty of cable to TIG weld comfortably. To get you started, this kit also includes some tungsten. There's a red 2% thoriated tungsten for DC welding and a green pure tungsten for use on AC. There's a regulator in here and a really nice one in fact. It's a rotometer style regulator which indicates the flow a little bit more accurately than just the standard diaphragm gauge and that's paired along a four foot long gas hose too. 
So really, other than some filler rods, argon, safety gear, and maybe a tungsten grinder, you're pretty much all set with everything you need right out of the gate. This is a couple of hundred bucks worth of additional stuff, which makes this welder a great deal if you ask me. Well guys, that is gonna sum up this machine. If you're looking for a high quality TIG machine that can do both aluminum and steel, the TIG 200 ACDC is gonna have you covered. If you like what we make, go ahead and check out our YouTube channel. We post tons of product reviews, guides, and how to's. If you're just starting out with TIG welding, we have a ton of videos over there that go over how to do it on our channel. Subscribe, like the video, leave us a comment. Of course, we'll have a link to the TIG 200 down below. And as always, Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Joe. Make sure you keep it right here at Eastwood to do the job right.